Daniel. This is Kristen from Stoltzfus RV and Marine in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Here's the Winnebago that you inquired about online, the 25B, the 2020. So for 2020, it does have a new style front cap, a little different construction there, the E450 chassis. Also has little side view cameras, sorry about the wet, it's raining today. Side view cameras, backup cameras on each side. Hope you don't get dizzy with my quick run through here. It's getting dark, so I'm trying to make my way through here. You've got the full power awning up top, power outlet and um, cable. So you can hook up a TV out here. And there's your potable water uh, for uh, manual tank fill if you're off grid, need water. Inside storage compartment. I love the corner bed for this reason. I mean, they just have the biggest storage compartment. You can see that this is uh, lit. This particular unit also has stabilizer jacks. That is an option on the Mini Winnie that is not standard. It goes through the effort to pay the bumper. You've got your ladder, additional access. You do have your hitch back here. Okay, well, let me run inside because that's probably what's more interesting to you. You can see for 2020, they did a color upgrade to the coach. All right. Our particular one, Winnebago is one of the true manufacturers that still makes everything themselves. One of the nice things about them is that down the road, if you have this coach for 20 years and you call up Winnebago and say, hey, I need new seat cushions, mine are shot. They make their own seat cushions. Most manufacturers out there don't manufacture quite as in-depth as Winnebago does. They're just simply more like assembly plants, but Winnebago still has a part number for every piece. They bend a lot of their own metal. They make a lot of their own things. And speaking on the metal, one of the nice things about Winnebago is they back all their cabinets and handles and everything in steel. They do their own metal work, so they're framed out to hold the doorway in, the window. Everything has got a metal frame point. New for 2020 is the solid surface countertop and the new style sink and sink handle. Little things are big things, but you gotta have it. Got a nice um, outlets in the walls, plenty. This one has an inverter control so you can run some electrical components while you're driving without having to put the generator on. Holding tank heater on this one. That's your thermostat. Generator, water heater, water pump, tank monitors, all the things you're expecting to see. Does have an oven, microwave. But the cabinets are a lot deeper than you'll find in most other brands. You may know all this already. I'm just trying to make sure that somebody's told you because Winnebago wants you to know about that. They also want me to point out for you that here in this 2020 model, they have upholstered the front seat area. They've added a few more um, cowbell things to the uh, radio too. It also has a battery boost. This is something that's kind of handy. So if for some reason your battery is dead in the front, well, you can pull power off the, the batteries for the camper portion. You have the DVD player, TV. You may have seen that when I swung by. You've got another TV in the back. Here's your fridge that is both propane and electric, so you can run that while driving. Little TV back here for, for you back here. So there's a light too. They've also upgraded the padding area, the headboard, if you will. There's some, above that uh, padding, there's a little bitty shelf with some power ports, so you can put your phones in there and so forth. Nice deep cabinet up there too. Deep cabinets everywhere. They did change the look of the cabinets for 2020. They're a more current looking tone of, of finish. Um, they've gotten away from the old school cherry, kind of gave it a nice um, sort of gray tone. It's really quite, quite modern looking. You have your bathroom. They've added these cool little hooks, Winnebago hooks. Bathroom with a squeegee door, skylight. All of the things you're looking for. Nice stainless steel finish, new pull handles for 2020. 
and they do make their cabinetry in house. This is alder. That's a nice wood, good weight, but very sturdy. Of course, I'm sure you know that this uh, tabletop does become a bed. Sorry, the cushions are disarray. I was just <laughs> pulling them around. And then of course you have a bed here. So you have a couple of seat belts too. And you also have um, seat belts on the dinette. And then back here, if it's important to you, that is a child safety seat latch. New style floors. So they've made a lot of cosmetic upgrades. They've also improved the top, um, the bed on the top is a different type of foam. Fares a little bit better, comes with a ladder. Got little MCD shades this year. Those aren't the poofy weird ones that get all caught up in the strings. They just pull simply up and down like a regular shade. Um, some of the better high-end motorhomes have MCD shades, so now Winnebago's taking them from the diesel line and put them on their gas line too. Plenty of light. So I just wanted you to take a look at this one a little bit. I know you're considering it, and I just wanted to make sure you knew um, what this one looked like. Uh, sometimes the internet pictures aren't that great, but um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I sent you an email with my contact, so if it's easier for you to text, email, rather than call, by all means, go right ahead. We work any way you want. This does come with a lifetime warranty from uh, our company to you, and that is good across the United States and Canada. It is a warranty we buy for you. Um, it does help complement any warranty you would buy, of course, but it does cover a lot of major systems on the camper components. I hope you're having a great day, and thanks for reaching out. Again, my name is Kristen. Hope to hear from you soon.